Welcome. Today, we are going to control the pump in the simulation window. Going right into it, in the simulation window, click on the simulation drop down menu and select water pump. Here, we have inputs S.1 to S.5 as the water level switches. S.6 and S.7 are push button switches. Output arrow.1 is to turn on the pump. Arrow.2 is running indication and arrow.3 is error indication. Label these variables to correspond with what they represent. S.1 as HH level, S.2 as H level, S.3 as M level, S.4 as L level, S.5 as LL level, S.6 as on, S.7 as off, arrow.1 as pump, arrow.2 as running, and arrow.3 as error. Now, drag a branch from the basic instruction group and place it at the start of the room. Place two normally open contacts to the parallel branches and a normally closed contact here. Then drag a coil into the room. Select the on variable S.6 for the normally open contact and the off variable S.7 for the normally closed contact. Select arrow.1 for the coil. Arrow.1 should also be the variable for this other contact as a retaining contact. The retaining contact ensures that the pump keeps running until the arrow.7 off button is pressed. Go to simulation mode. Observe that the tank is first emptied. Click on the on button to start the pump and fill up the tank. Then click on the off button to stop filling. Let us go a step further to make the pump run automatically. Now, change the variable for the coil and the retaining contact to arrow.2 for the running indication. Add a new rung and add a normally opened contact to the rung with variable arrow.2 and this branch with variable arrow.1. Drag a normally closed contact to this point with variable S.4 and to here with variable S.1. Drag a coil here with variable arrow.1. Go back to simulation mode. When the on button is pressed, arrow.2 initiates the starting of the pump to fill the tank. When the water level gets to HH level S.1, the pump automatically stops. When the water level drops to L level S.4, the pump is restarted. This process continues until the off button is pressed. Finally, to show the error indication, add another rung. Add to the rung a normally closed contact with variable S.5 for the lowest level switch and a coil with variable arrow.3 for the error indication. Then simulate the program. Click on to start filling the tank and click on the reset button. This will trigger the error indication and empty the tank. Click on the off button and then the on button to start the process again. Now we can move on to the time instruction group in the next video. Thanks for watching. You must have enjoyed this video. Please don't leave without clicking on the like button and commenting. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you have not and the notification bell for more videos. See you in the next video.